What's up everyone, it's your boy Norrad89 here bringing you another video today and today we're continuing the Scooby-Doo review series as we are now on to What's New Scooby-Doo. This one premiered in 2002 and I'm very excited to talk about this one because this is a very fun kind of like love letter homage kind of series to Scooby-Doo Where Are You? So there's a lot of positive stuff to talk about with this season and mainly just some like minor negatives not really anything major or anything so there's a lot of fun stuff to talk about today and like i said you gotta like subscribe and have that notification bell poke so you're notified anytime i post a video so you can stay along for the ride as we go through the scooby-doo television shows so let's do this roll it What's New Scooby-Doo premiered in 2002 and has three seasons. There's 14 episodes in every season for this one, so that's really cool. There's a good chunk of episodes in every season, and this one is, like I said, a really fun one that has a lot of good praise. A lot of people like this one, and this one premiered on, I believe it was WB Kids was the channel at the time that this was on, and this one, like I said, being it that it came out in 2002, and after Pup Named Scooby-Doo ended in 1991, this is the biggest gap that we we've ever had in the between the shows you know between different incarnations it's the biggest gap so basically all through the mid 90s and late 90s it was all reruns of Scooby-Doo where are you 13 ghosts a pup named Scooby-Doo they didn't like said they waited many many years before they wanted to bring back what's new Scooby-Doo and one huge positive with this season is that like I said it's an homage love letter to Scooby-Doo where are you it's very much a modernized version because it has the same kind of characters like Shaggy, Fred, Velma, Scooby, Daphne. Their characterizations are all very much the same as they were in Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? They just modernized the show in terms of, like, the gadgets, the mystery machine, even, like, Fred, like, the stuff that he talks about, like, the way they trap the monsters and stuff and they figure out who the villain is. All of it is much more modernized for the newer audience that is watching it, you know, that are kids in the 2000s, early 2000s. So, yeah, there's a lot to love. This is a season that new kids from 2000, you know, younger kids from the 2000s when they were children and they're growing up can totally be into this show. But so can adults who were into Where Are You and who are much older, like people like me who were born in the 80s. And I grew up on Where Are You and all that kind of stuff. It's easy to latch on to this season because it's not that far away from the formula. And as I said, another positive with the show is that all the characters are those, their original style of characters. You know what I mean? But they actually have different outfits. Like they change their outfits when they're in a winter setting or a summer setting or at a beach and stuff. And the fact that there's an equal amount of episodes every season, I like that. Because with the previous seasons of the show... It's like, oh, the first season gets this big chunk of episodes, and then they're like, oh, well, it didn't do as good as we thought it was going to. So they shrink the episodes down again, and then they, you know, shrink it down again, the season length. So I love the fact that there's 14 episodes in every season, and this one introduces, like, some really fun things. Like, we have some cameos from awesome characters like the Hex Girls, who is probably one of the coolest, like you know, fake kind of bands out there. Like, they're really fantastic. So there's a lot of cool, um, can like I said, cameos from different characters and people that they run into. And like I said, makes the characters that we love more three-dimensional. Fred, Velma, Daphne, Shaggy, Scooby, all of them. And we love that about this show. The What's New Scooby-Doo theme song is also a banger as well. That is done by Simple Plan. And they actually did a lot of the songs too for the chase sequences and stuff, so did some other bands, but yeah, the What's New Scooby-Doo, What's New Scooby-Doo, like it's very much, like I said, a modern hip version, you know what I mean, Simple Plan, I think they did a fantastic job with this theme song, definitely gonna be high up in the ranking of the theme song list for sure when we get down to that video. There's some really great cool episodes in this one, like the Scooby-Doo Halloween episode that is like a special kind of episode where they actually go to visit Velma's family and then, you know, end up running into a mystery and have to tackle it on Halloween night. So that's really cool. That's one of my favorite episodes. There's also this episode where they have to investigate a baseball, like a baseball ghost. He's like a, the ghost, a dead ghost of a previous baseball player that's trying to apparently protect his record because there's another player who's about to beat like his pitching record or something like that. Like that's really fun too. Like sports analogy and sports episodes are always a banger. And one reason why, like I said, the show 
sticks and it lands the test of, or stands the test of time like even when you watch it because like this came out in 2002 and went to i believe it was 2004 or five with the three seasons and now that it's you know basically 20 years you know 18 years later it still holds up today because it has some really creative awesome villains it goes with the old school formula so it's comfortable you could latch onto it and get attached to it and it's got good music fun vibes and like I said some really cool mysteries that you can enjoy while you watch it so what's new scooby-doo there's a lot of positive vibes going on with this show so yeah in terms of mixed and negatives with this one is really there's not really any ones it's just kind of minor stuff like nothing really huge like one minor negative is that you can say that this is kind of a copycat of scooby-doo where where are you i mean yes it's a much more modernized version but it's very formulaic to that and it's not like it's not like they tried to throw any spice in here like they very much were playing it safe the company when they brought them back and stuff and wanted to bring the show back in the early 2000s they were playing it very safe and like I said that's not a huge negative that's just a minor one because there's not like a huge creativity value or a difference with this show this is a very monumental season two as well because this is the first one that happens after the foreclosure of the Hanna-Barbera Studios and William Hanna's death in 2001. So this is a very major deal. Also, we have different voice cast members. We have Frank Welker who comes back, but he actually voices the voice of Scooby and Fred in this one because we have Don Messick who passed away too in 1997. So... This is a very unique season. Like I said, there's a lot to love about it because it's so familiar and you can really easily grab onto it. And like I said, it's the one that's the longest gap. So it's just a lot of the fans of the Scooby-Doo show, we really missed it. You know what I mean? Because it's just like I said, all through the 90s, if you were watching Scooby-Doo at all through the mid 90s or late 90s, you were watching all reruns. There was no new shows, like I said, until you get to 2000s. And then we had a bunch of new different shows and incarnations that we're going to even talk about more. Like I said, we're still going. This series is not ending. There's a lot more Scooby-Doo content. And then we got to rank all the shows and rank the characters and all kinds of fun stuff. But yeah, What's New Scooby-Doo is one that I highly recommend. If Especially for people who aren't maybe into like 60s and 70s kind of animation and the storytelling kind of going on back then. I would suggest What's New Scooby-Doo. This is always going to be probably in like the top five in terms of like, you know, ones that I'll suggest to people if they've never dived into Scooby-Doo, the series or the television shows at all. Like this one is a very fun one with a lot to love about it. And like I said, it will get you used to the formula. And then when you start experiencing some of the other shows that are different, they have a new spice or they threw in new characters or they do storylines that are different or have a continuous storyline throughout the whole entire season, then you're going to enjoy that even more too because it's something different. So like I said, that was just kind of a minor negative with saying that this one really didn't try to be crazy different. They were playing it safe and I think the studio company that was bringing this show back to life and they were starting on a new channel to wb kids you know they weren't on abc anymore it's not like the saturday morning cartoons or anything like that again so it's definitely a different era and like i said what's new scooby-doo is the perfect television show to introduce you to the new era of this you know franchise so thanks for sticking around with me all as we chatted about what's new scooby-doo this series you can currently stream on either boomerang or hbo max or what it's now known as max those are the two places where you can find this show. And like I said, I highly recommend checking this one out because it's a lot of fun, especially if you are another reason. Like I said, even if you were a huge fan of the older shows, this is definitely one you got to check out because you're going to get some strong Scooby-Doo Where Are You vibes. But be sure you're liked subscribed have that notification bell with the not that you're like that you like this video you know what i mean i say that all the time and it sounds kind of stupid when i say it at the end of my videos but like the video it helps out the algorithm subscribe if you're new to the channel that's what i should say and also poke that notification bell because you want to be notified anytime I post videos because we're going to be continuing this content as we go through the Scooby-Doo series. Then we've got the Child's Play content going on. we still got some more Child's Play stuff to talk about. And then after that, like I said, some rad movie reviews for The Exorcist. Thanks for staying around with me all. But you know, most importantly, have a safe and happy day. Peace out.